don't forget that this tutorial is part of a series of tutorials which you can access on our YouTube playlist or alternatively if you would like to you can purchase the whole course on Udemy there should be a link to the YouTube playlist and a link to our Udemy course which should always provide the best price in the video description. Now there are some occasions where potentially you have made changes to the database, change your mind or you're not happy with the desired effect and so you want to roll back to a previous migration. So you will need some migrations to follow along here to actually roll back to. Now in the previous tutorial I migrated the change, we added a, a new field to the attribute table. So we're going to think about trying to roll back that change because we don't necessarily want to keep that change. Now what we can first do is let's go ahead and take a look at the migrations. Now remember in the previous tutorial I mentioned that in the database we are storing all the data about the migration. So we can go ahead and run show migrations and then we can list that out and you can see all the migrations that we have already undertaken. Remember these are the uh, built-in apps, those migrations, the tables that are needed for those. Uh, obviously we're working predominantly with the inventory app. So we've completed, uh, we have three, oh, we have two completed migrations and you can see here that we have actually started the process of making migrations but we haven't actually migrated. So the X here is referring to the fact we haven't actually migrated the previous um, migration that we created. So let's take a look at that first. So let's go ahead and now migrate. And you can now see we've actually migrated that migration that we generated in the previous tutorial. And now when we show migrations again, you can see now the X refers to the fact that we have actually migrated. So that's a key point to make. So before you start to roll back a migration, it is always, always helpful to know the migration history for our app. Right. So let's roll back to a specific migration. So we want to roll back to this migration here, 002. So to do that, we can go ahead and type in Python 3, manage.py, and migrate. Okay, so first of all, we need to identify the app, which is the inventory app, and then just identify the migration we want to roll back to. So I run that. And there we go. So what's happened now is that it's unapplied the previous migration. So the database should return to the previous state, which was when we didn't have the text field included in the attribute table. And I can have a look on the left hand side in the SQL Explorer and you can see that is the case. Now it's important to remember to remove any changes that you might have made. Otherwise, when you migrate again, obviously you're going to be applying or setting up those changes again. Right, so that's how to very easily and simply roll back to a specific migration should you make some changes and you're not happy with those changes, for example. So far, I have been advocating the idea of uh, removing all the migration files and the database in order to get back to zero, get back to the start. Well, you don't necessarily have to go through that process to get back to the start. If you want to roll back to the initial state, which is zero, then we can go ahead and just run a similar command. So manage.py migrate your app and then zero. So if we do that, that should unapply, you can see here unapplying two and one, the initial state. Now don't forget that's just for inventory, not the whole database. So even though I said that if you want to get back completely to the beginning, of course you will still have all the Django app um, tables in place but what you won't have is the apps that you're working on. So it really it does in many ways reset everything back to um, a useful state for you then to move forward again with your apps in your application because when you delete all the migrations and the database you are also deleting all the other all those other artifacts and of course that might include um, users if you want to get into the Django admin site. So you have to go through all that process again. So it can be easier sometimes just to um, select the apps you want to return back to zero and work from there rather than just to delete all the files and have to go work completely from the beginning. So what we should have now, if I refresh the databases, all the Django specific um, tables in place, 
but none of our app tables are now applied to the database. So from that point, I can uh, make some changes maybe in the app models, and then go ahead and run the make migrations again. So we go ahead and migrate. And there we go. So I refresh the database. You can see we have now re-established the inventory tables in our database. Now it's important to remember if we are going to zero the app, in this case, the inventory app, the likelihood is that you also want to remove the migration files before you go ahead and create a new migration for the inventory app. So do remember that if you are going to use uh, inventory zero to completely restart the app, then do consider removing the existing migrations uh, from the folder before you go ahead and migrate again. Right, so I'm gonna completely reset everything here and remove all of that. And then I will remove the database. I've just completely reset uh, before we move into uh, any other tutorial. Before we finish this phase of this section of the course, I want to say that it's always good practice, it's always recommended to create backups before making any significant changes to your database. So don't forget to back up your database. Did I mention you should be backing up your database? Yeah, don't forget to back up your database. I think it's a good idea to back up your database.